everybody seems to be dating people that don't live in it mm-hmm. or like just live far away i mm-hmm. guess i don't know i guess they say you should import them <laughs> never, never find them on the... <laughs> it's 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 giving hot boys but <laughs> not hot boys like it's giving yeah it's giving uh delivery <laughs> <laughs> It's not just your notes, it's delivery. Like, that's what it is. Welcome back to another episode of Key and Carry, where we key and we carry. Not this. I'm Troy. I'm Damon. Yes. And today we're reviewing The Shit We Do For Love, season two, episode one, titled, I Wasn't Invited. Oh, you got invited? <laughs> yes. Why weren't we invited? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Glad to be back. Um, yeah. Glad to give this show another try just to, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know, it seemed interesting. Um, yeah. I feel like it's still not going to be what I wanted it to be but mm-hmm. i'm at peace with that i'm just gonna say this and i'm gonna shut up but um yeah I just, <laughs> like, I just feel like okay so there's no secret it's no secret that like a lot of these shows kind of have the same the same premise mm-hmm. and so i feel like it would be in you know each show's best interest to kind of differentiate themselves from the other shows but i just wish it was more structured like yeah i wish it was kind of like a show like um like Married at First Sight, for instance, or even mm-hmm. like The Bachelor, where it's like production is putting two people on a date. These two people, like it's literally orientated around yeah. dating. Like mm-hmm. that's the that's the whole show is them dating. And of course, drama is going to come from that because right, of course, right. It's gays in Atlanta, of course. <laughs> no, uh, you guys go drag me for this, huh? For me, like this episode was, like you said, okay. Like I kind of had to watch it a few times just to. I guess just to find like those eye catching scenes or like the yeah. the the hot moments or whatever, but there really weren't any. But um, I'm not gonna take that away from the like production. But I, overall, mm-hmm. this episode was okay. Um, okay. I do want to note that I like that the new cast members weren't introduced like right away. Mm-hmm. This season, the the episode opened with like spaces that we were familiar with. So I kind of wanted to see them. Um... So like. The first standout moment for me was um, Ryan and Angelo have partners. So I was like, yay, like, congratulations. Like, shout out to that. We don't have to relive that. We don't have to relive their history anymore. But you know, I think Baba. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Like, I was, I was. Something's tired telling about me that we're gonna still going to get that. Game. We're still going to. It. It's still giving that. I was like, girl, you mm-hmm. know, like. We don't, I mean, like, if you want to mention him, like, okay. Yeah. But, like, you were going in, like, you were talking about yes. it. Yes. Just like, uh-huh. I don't think I would be talking about somebody I used to talk to, mm-hmm. day, you know? You know what's but, weird? Like, I think Angelo did that season one on his date with Malcolm. I think they went out uh, to eat, and I forgot uh, who he uh, was, like, talking about during that date, but literally probably like, Ryan. the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, not Ryan Henry. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so tired of hearing this story. <laughs> I'm so Ryan's, tired of hearing this story. He was Ryan's tired of bringing it up. I was tired of hearing it. <laughs> yes. It's, 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 it's 50-50. Ryan's boyfriend is very attractive. Like, he's pretty cute. Uh, did he have dreads? I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. That's another thing about this season is that there are so many people on the cast mm-hmm. that it's like, I don't, who? Like, who is that? Like, I, mean, I guess as the show goes on, like, I'll re- like start to remember faces, but I don't yes. know. It's giving. I didn't say her name. I said who? I said who? I said who? <laughs> like, it's giving. <laughs> like, I, I wonder how, like, they're going to go about talking about their relationships on the show. Right. And um, right. things like that. Everybody seems to be dating people that don't live in it mm-hmm. or like just live far away i mm-hmm. guess i don't know i guess they say you should import them <laughs> never Ooh. find them on the... it's giving hot boys but <laughs> not hot boys like it's giving yeah it's giving uh delivery <laughs> <laughs> it's not just your notes it's delivery like that's what it's <laughs> platonics only and imports only yes so shout out to that <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but um, yeah, I th- I thought that that was cool. Uh, he did say that I guess his boy. I don't know. Was he talking about his current boyfriend when he said he really wasn't feeling me filming and kissing like other guys and stuff? So he kind of like said, "Yeah, I'm gonna let you do that, and I'm gonna go elsewhere." How would you How would you feel about dating somebody that um is an actor? And they I wouldn't give a fuck. Them? Like as long as you don't bring no shit back to me, I. Don't care. Let me say, as long as you're professional about it, mm-hmm. as long as you're professional about it, it's your job. I don't care. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I just always think it's so weird because it's like it's acting. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like if I was in the situation, I would feel different. But mm-hmm. like it's they're not. They don't actually right each other. You know, <laughs> I was acting, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Let's hope it's not a Mr. and Mrs. Smith uh situation. Very yes, like, true. Can I just talk about how much I. <laughs> I really like D'Angelo. I feel like he is so quirky and mm-hmm. funny. But now since we've been around each other, we know we know each other a lot more. You know what I'm trying to say? No. I don't get what I'm trying to say. No, I'm just... I could say <laughs> you so damn stupid. He like he is. This is personality. Mm-hmm. He's so he. We all we talked about this last season. Um, I'm so tired of talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> He is so country, and it's he so is. endearing. Like he is his mannerisms, the way he talks, even just like the way he bats his eyes when he's mm-hmm. like talking, and then like, uh, it's so funny. Like, and then he was like, um, could, did you understand when he was on his day? He was like, did you do you understand what I'm saying? And the dude was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't understand. And I was like, well, like not surprised. <laughs> he's also like we said it first season, like the first time we reviewed this show, but he's also like very handsome. Very like handsome. this is yeah. his facial structure is he's a real very handsome guy they don't really talk about i guess where they're at in their relationships just yet like i guess you know d'angelo was on a date but i we don't i don't know is it exclusive has how long have they been dating or is that your boyfriend or are y'all just going on dates like i, I, I kind of wanted to i think he did give a time i want to say it was like six months Okay. Because I think he said something about they were quarantining together. Yeah. Well, no, and I think he said they, because I guess before COVID happened, they were like, you know, doing their own thing. And I guess the, okay. the quarantine, I think being like locked down. Brought okay. Them together. I don't think they were quarantining together though. Okay. Could be wrong, Ooh, but. My goodness. I, <laughs> but um, I think they were, um, I think the being alone kind of like brought them together. Okay. Like, isolated or whatever, but um. That's cute. I mean, hey, I'm still on my hey. personal only shit. So um, <laughs> it's good that you know somebody's you know out here having fun. So Brian opened up about his mother's death, mm-hmm. and I just want to say like I love this trend of black men expressing their expressing their emotions in mm-hmm. like a healthy manner. I like that these shows, while they are messy as hell, <laughs> they're kind of shattering like those stereotypes that you know black men can't be emotional, like they can't express themselves. So yeah i'm here for that like yeah no definitely that was another thing that's one thing that i noted just like okay all of the support that he was given um from everybody i think that that's cool um and shows that you know they genuinely care about him it's not just a a show Mm -hmm. you know right and so and i think it's important to check in on people you know of course when they're going through things right what are you sipping on co-host what you drinking oh it's coffee oh okay yeah yeah Oh, yes, you got that caffeine rush going on. That's, that's, I was about to say, we should play <laughs> every episode, what is Damon drinking? <laughs> like, just based off of, like, how hype I am. <laughs> like, he's definitely giving a Moscato tea right now. Yes. Like, yes. But, yeah. Uh, don't worry about what's in my cup, Ian. <laughs> anyway, no. Um, but, um... Yeah, oh I my god, talk about uh speaking about uh, I guess vulnerability and like mm-hmm. real shit, I guess. Um, D'Angelo talked about his um, his business, he has a clothing line called Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. is that what it was called? Mm-hmm. Um, so he has a um, he has a clothing line called Boyfriend Material. Um, I think it's shirts so far, yeah, all I could see was shirts at um in the on the show so um i thought that that was really cool and i thought it was interesting how um when he was talking when he was on his day he talked about how like um he doesn't feel like he deserves this i guess like i guess he doesn't feel like he deserves all this like support and attention Mm -hmm. to be at that level and i just thought that that was interesting because i know a lot of 
Black people specifically suffer from, um, it's called imposter syndrome, where like, uh, not me trying to, not me trying to be a psychiatrist, but uh, <laughs> it's like a weird thing where you feel like you shouldn't be where you are because you're not worthy when you really are worthy. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I just thought that that was interesting because I know a lot of people, you know, on some level suffer from that um, when they're gaining success. And okay. Uh, I also think, you know, um, I can't speak to his experience, but I know sometimes when people are struggling with things for so long and then they finally get that break, it's almost like, oh, my God, like, do I deserve this? And it's like, mm-hmm. oh, you worked super hard for it. You right. Know? So um, and I thought it was cool how, um, you know, his date was like, you look very comfortable doing what you were doing. So to hear you keep saying that you don't feel like you deserve what you're doing, but you put in so much work and so much effort right. into putting out your brand. I think you should really focus on the positivity of everything that you're Right. Doing. Yeah, you deserve it. Like, absolutely. Like, you worked hard for it. You know, you're good at it. Mm-hmm. Reap the benefits. Like, yes. you worked hard, so you deserve it wholeheartedly. So, I like You that. know what song should have been playing in the background while they were having that conversation? What? Oh, Mama D, I deserve. <laughs> I deserve. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, it should be uh, what is it? Make me proud by Drake. <laughs> like, yes. A Odie but goodie. I yes. Odie. Yes. Even Angela said, like, uh, I guess the guy he's dating, he he just speaks like a lot of like positivity into his life. Which mm-hmm. I thought that was just like dope because that's yeah. kind of I'm gonna say it's uncommon, but it's um. I don't know. It's, it's, I, I, I just think like that, that should be something that you like should look out for. Like, yeah. obviously, like if you're talking mm-hmm. about something, especially you care if you care about it. Like, if the person that you're dating isn't really like receptive right. about it, mm-hmm. like I feel like that's a sign where it's like, mm, yeah, you know, because even if they're not into it, like they should be interested because it's something that you like, you right? Oh, so, right. But, yeah, so um, I'm happy for like Angelo. Like, I'm happy yeah. for Angelo and Ryan. Yeah, but uh. My nigga Damian Woods receiving a proper introduction. Uh, he yes. said, fuck that. At end the of beginning the season, of the season. Yes! Like, the season premiere. Hey, I'm inviting Brian over to discuss the party. Um, one thing about me and Brian, we're going to definitely get into the shit, and we're going to definitely do what we do best, and that is drinking. Come through. He said, fuck that end of the season shit. Like, yeah, bitch, yeah. I want to cameo on the first episode. So, yeah. My nigga <laughs> Damian Woods. Fuck a tag along. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like Fuck a tag along. Shout out to uh, Hot Boys of Houston. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fuck a tag along. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm here at the very, at the beginning, beginning. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm still here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, come on. That's what Demian um, had a, um, appeared on the uh, season premiere. So I was like, shout yeah. out to that because, you know, last season he came towards the end of the season. I was like, he came for two episodes and then found a reunion like what but right but that was cool yeah. that he came on the first episode i also really like his energy just he seems he, really very just, relaxed yeah I, very I like relaxed just too. really um, chill he seems like really one of those chill. people that's like chill but like he also has a personality mm-hmm. i feel like sometimes people like on shows like this they're chill but it's like you're not giving me anything. It's like mm-hmm. some people are giving me too much and mm-hmm. some people are not giving anything. So it's like, very like true. How he's kind of in the middle where it's like, he can give you a funny moment, mm-hmm. and say his opinion, but he's also not trying to do the most. Right, know? right. So, um, I like that. <laughs> I also really like his um his friend um who also made an appearance last season. Mm-hmm. Um, I cannot remember his friend's name. I think his name was Brian. Brian, that's definitely what it is. But um, I like Brian too. I think Brian is um funny. Yes, I feel like they played off of each other really well. I hope they did a lot of like they the, did Brian's accent. We talked about it last season. I feel like you were so used to us talking like ever since the cabin, we would talk every day. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Love the New Orleans accent. Yes. Like, um, but yeah, just listening to him talk is so funny. Just mm-hmm. you know, he similar to um what is what's her name? Uh Lady Monet. Lady Monet, shout out yes. to Lady Monet. Yes. Um, similar to her, they you know, I think she's also from mm-hmm. New Orleans, so they have the same accent, but it, it's just amazing. I love it. But yes, um, he was also really funny. Nothing too exciting, just 
crying for streams like normal, you know. Yeah, they say your music Working. ain't selling. That's fine, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, yes, you better make music for your own fulfillment. <laughs> like, uh, in traditional can't carry format, he was my favorite of the episode. Just, okay. Um, I liked him expressing himself, but it was more so him shading the animal that, that I are. thought. I think you're missing something. Ooh, is it a segment? Now you know we gotta talk about our good sis, Travis D. Ware. <laughs> <sighs> Anyway, I didn't mind him this episode. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, who's we we seen the uh trailers for um the following, you know, for the rest of the season, but yeah, I didn't mind him. I thought he was okay. Um, he, he was there. Yeah. I thought it was funny how he Who's called. There? <laughs> I'm not being shady. He was there though. Like <laughs> he was there. It. He was there. We we saw him. Um. <laughs> But I just thought it was funny how he called Malcolm and basically asked him to plan his party. But um, I don't want to plan it. So, you know, you know, you're one of my favorite is friends. Uh, here you go. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> um, Give me some power. Little yeah, old me. Give me some power, honey. You're going to be a power top today. <laughs> I do not want to comment. Why? <laughs> Why? I thought like. <laughs> If you wanted a party, like you plan your own party. Like, yeah. He called him was like, "Can you plan my party?" And I'm like, "Is Malcolm a party planner?" Like <laughs> I didn't know he was in a big. Party. It was so it was funny, but it was like weird. Um, so we get like a little sit down um date, I guess you could say. They went for ice cream. Um, oh yeah, I forgot there was a date in the episode. Yeah, so Travis went on a date with. I'm so sorry, we don't know the uh, the dates. We over, not us complaining about dates and then not remembering <laughs> the name of the dates, like not caring enough. Anyway, um, <laughs> Travis went on a date um, with his current boyfriend. I forgot the boyfriend's name, but um, I thought the scene was kind of awkward. So much. We like got cars. I mean, yeah, but plane tickets, right? Buses, but I was submarine. Uh, uh -huh. His excuses about why they weren't able to meet earlier or sooner, I was just mm -hmm. kind of like, mm, "That's that's an interesting take." Excuses, I'm excuses, start but <laughs> when it's when some when I want to be shady, that's what I'm gonna start saying. That's an interesting take. That's an mm -hmm. interesting idea. <laughs> Hmm, that's real interesting. Like, I, it was it was a little weird. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I'm happy that he, um, because we, as we talked about on last season, he was really the only one that didn't really have a date. Like, he mm -hmm. was just, like, causing drama. And I was like, I mean, I don't mind you causing drama, but, like, I don't know. I just feel like you should at least be participating in yeah. the, the premise of the show if you're going to cause mm -hmm. drama. Like, everybody should be participating. But, um, yeah, it's, you know, I'm glad to see um you know him on a date i'm mm -hmm. glad to see like someone who is you know full figured dating mm -hmm. um i feel like that's cool um i say all that to, to say that um yeah the, the date was awkward i didn't see any chemistry all black party and he asked like who i want to be there and things of that nature yeah. when is it? the day of my birthday yeah. what so, you know, work, my work schedule is a little, I have to, I think that day is mandatory day of your birthday. So I gotta try to take off for it. I feel very uncomfortable right now. But at least be available that night or the following day. Honestly, it was kind of giving me, they just like pulled him off the street and like, mm -hmm. you just had like, we're going to do this scene. We're going to get ice mm -hmm. cream. But I was just kind of like, seriously, do you even want to be here? I felt that the date was just a little awkward. Yeah, but and then the whole door thing too was weird. Like the <laughs> only way you can get in the car is at access. No. Every kiss we kiss we can. <laughs> 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 like this is very Ooh, very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just like, um, all right, you know, <laughs> like, you like it, I love it. <laughs> you like, yeah, I I thought it was really awkward, but it was also funny. So <laughs> I don't, I'm like, uh, it was awkward, but it was funny, and then I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, I have a theory, but it's I'll, I'll wait. I'll save it for another episode because um, okay, you know, especially with what's going on, you know, what was in the previews, mm-hmm. um, the storylines they're hinting at. I'm like, hmm, this this is interesting. It's an interesting, yeah. it's an interesting take, but um, <laughs> it's the take for me. No, I'm just kidding. yeah. <laughs> This shit made me laugh, but he was talking to his friend about his birthday party, and he was like, "Everybody came to my birthday party except for what's that boy name who got that um clothing line boyfriend? Oh, boyfriend by D'Angelo. <laughs> yeah, she ain't come. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, that shit was funny as hell. But I thought he was gonna go low and be like, I thought he was gonna call Angelo she by Sheree. Because he was like, what's her name? Boyfriend by D'Angelo? I thought he was going to be like, she by Sheree, she not coming. But I was like, that shit was funny. Yeah, this has been our review of this the first episode of the mm-hmm. second season of The Shit We Do For Love titled, uh, I Can't Get An Invite. I Can't Get A Plate? Like, <laughs> yeah. um, it's, I wasn't invited. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, I wasn't invited. Oh, but, um, <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, let us know what you think of the show mm-hmm. and our review, our opinions. Um, you know, we're excited to be reviewing another show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you have another show that you would like for us to check out, uh, mm-hmm. leave it in the comments or Definitely. send it to our Instagram. Um, even movies, we're also getting back or trying to get back into reviewing films. So uh, we do have a film review coming for yes, you guys i cannot but, wait yes so <laughs> y'all think the black gays be carrying oh. <laughs> wait till you see the tweet yes. wait till you the, see the tweets we've we been the dealing shakes, with the shakespearean twinks if yes. you will the but early yeah. 2000 twinks <laughs> <laughs> that's the era i don't know we're kind of in a good mood so i just want to thank all of the followers or everybody who listens yes. to us thank you guys you so know much, who like, tolerate us just rambling and exactly. ranting thank you guys so much for mm-hmm. keeping and carrying with us what yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> um but yeah um yes. this has been key and carry ruby key and we carry <laughs> and we will see y'all in the next one Peace. yes